Some of you may remember the Abner Luema story that happened, I believe it was back in the 90s when this occurred. And the NYPD officer that literally tortured this man. Well, this is what he looked like back then during trial. This is what he looks like today. He was released early from prison. It's amazing how somebody like this can be released early from prison, but an innocent black man that did not commit a crime got to sit in there for 50 years. See this dude right here? This NYPD officer, this is who you should keep in there for 50 years. You're, you're doing it to the wrong people. This is who you should be doing that to. So let's get into this story. This was so sick. I remember hearing about this back in the day. I, it was sickening. Ex-NYPD cop who brutalized Abner Luema in 1997 is released early from federal prison. He shouldn't have been released at all as far as I'm concerned. Sick demon has been unleashed back into the public. The ex-NYPD cop who brutalized Abner Luema with a broomstick in a Brooklyn precinct in 1997 has been released early from federal prison. Despite Prosecutors once calling his actions one of the most heinous crimes in New York City history. If you don't know what he did, he put a he brutalized this man, the black man that you see in the small photo, and he put a broomstick up his backside. So anyway, Justin Volpe, now 51, has been transferred from a lockup at Sandstone, Minnesota. Uh, this is where he was in confinement. Sandstone, Minnesota. So a spokesperson for the Federal Bureau of Prisons confirmed to the Post Tuesday. Community confinement means the inmate is in either home confinement or a halfway house the spokesperson said. The disgrace ex-cop served just 24 years out of a 30-year sentence for the brutal attack in which Volpe eventually admitted to sodomizing, Lord have mercy, an innocent man handcuffed. He was handcuffed at the 70th precinct in Kensington. And when he was handcuffed, this is what this cop did to him. It's sick. Absolutely sick. He shouldn't be out of prison. I don't care what anybody say. He should not be out of prison. Oh, boy. Mm -mm -mm. Online records list Volpe as being a New York residential reentry management program, which currently includes almost 7,900 inmates in halfway houses and nearly 6,000 under home confinement. You know, it, it, trust me, as a NYPD officer, this is not the first person he brutalized. This is the first person he had to be accountable for. But trust me, when cops do stuff like this, they have done a lot of bad things, evil, throughout their entire career. He just went down for this one thing. But this is by far not the only thing he has done. Mm-mm-mm. So I have nothing but love in my heart for New York City and everybody in my case involved, especially Mr. Luima Volpe told the Post on Tuesday as he stood outside of his family home in Fresh Kills, Staten Island. He lives in a place called Fresh Kills. <laughs> America, you in these towns, man. 
so he goes on to say, and I mean, it, it's amazing how he gets a voice out in the media, but he goes on to say, I wish us all peace. He continued, I just want to rebuild my life at the pace that I am able to. God bless everyone, says this terrorist that was let out of prison. His victim, Luema, said, he has forgiven Volpe, but I will never forget what was done to him. I am a Christian. Well, there you go. That's what's wrong with you. Of course, I've forgiven Luema. Now 56 told the post on Tuesday. There go your problem right there. This man did this to you at a precinct and you came back to say you forgive him. I don't know what the hell is wrong with some of these people out here. Well, you know, Christianity is what's wrong. And, you know, their pastors do them a disservice by not correcting them on what should be forgiven and what should not be forgiven. But misguiding them into believing everything should be forgiven, which is completely false. That's completely false. So he goes on to say, but my life has changed in the worst imaginable way, Luima said. Of course, I think about my attack. I think about it most of the time. Yeah, because you were traumatized. Anybody would be traumatized by something like that. As for Volpe's release, Luima added, he knows what he did, and if he wants to repent, it will be up to him. If the justice system wants to release him, they will. Let it be. So this is what Luima said. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, did Volpe even ask for forgiveness? I never saw anything that said he did. Wow. Wow. His transfer to community confinement, first reported by Freelance, comes just two years after he was denied compassionate release while admitting to a judge that he committed a serious wrong in one of the most shocking police brutality cases in history. He sure did. The Brooklyn U.S. Attorney's Office had strenuously opposed the bid, calling Volpe's broomstick assault one of the most heinous crimes in New York City's history. His actions were premeditated, brutal, and brazen. Yeah, well, you, you say all of this, but he got out early. Mm-mm-mm. Judge Eugene Nickerson shared similar horrors while senten sentencing Volpe in December of 1998. Short of intentional murder, one cannot imagine a more barbarous misuse of power, the judge said at the time. No, he, he just did what he was trained to do in the NYPD. He did what they do. So, ladies and gentlemen, he's out. He's out. And it's a travesty of justice that he is out. I don't think he should have been released at all. I think he should have done his full 30 year sentence. I don't care how reformed he claimed he is and how sorry. I wouldn't care. No, it, this is a travesty of justice letting this man out early. All right, so this is what Abner 
Luima looks like today. This is him right here, and you already recognize the mayor. And, you know, I wish him well. I just wish he didn't forgive because what Volpe did to him is unforgivable. And again, you know, this is the pastors failing their congregation by not telling Christians when it is and when it's not appropriate to forgive. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.